Okay, part six. This boat's going in the water in this episode, definitely. Just got to put the engine on and do a few other bits and bobs. New bolts. Engine's all on and um, it's feeling very solid. And it does this. Whoa! So yeah, we're kind of getting there. I was putting lithium grease on the steering tube. Steering's working. I'm adding two batteries, uh, one for the engine and one for the gadgets. Hopefully that means that um, in an emergency we can still start the engine, even if everything goes flat. These batteries are actually originally for uh, Harley Davidsons. They're just the right size and they can go on their side. So if we look under here now, that's the engine battery, that's the leisure battery, that's the engine battery on and off, this is the leisure battery on and off, and this is the kind of emergency override. Before this boat goes back in the water, I want to um, service the engine a bit. I'm gonna change the engine oil, gearbox oil, and put a new filter on. Yeah. Here he goes. Ooh. Well, actually, it looks nice. It sounds clear. lovely, <coughs> but you have a look. There's a little bit of oh, right. cloudy in it. You see, so that's like metal particles, basically. Yeah, right? all very, very fine. Just the, the ground down bits of yeah, cogs. But there are some there. Yes, exactly. Gearbox oil has changed. Next, I need to start the engine, warm it up, and then once the engine oil is warm, I can change that. There we go, nice and black. Oil's all drained out, so now I've got to put the new oil filter on. So I've changed the engine oil, changed the gearbox oil, and uh, it's running a treat. The original engine controls were set a bit too low, so I'm repositioning them higher up. I'm using the original aluminium bracket and I'm adding in some recycled yoghurt pot for good measure. Brackets on here. Just installing some new firmware. So, all right, nearly ready to go. This is now really solid. It's actually pretty comfy. It's 
pretty much ready. So um, the plan is we're actually going to launch today, which is a bit nerve wracking, but um, kind of just finishing off doing the ropes. Nice. So where did that? The splice. Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks, Bill. This sends out sound waves to the bottom of the sea and when they bounce back, it works out how deep it is. And it goes on down here. When you're showing the video today, I watched it on YouTube. It looked very, uh, looked very shiny and new. I believe you've restored it well. Now I see it in person. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready. Ropes are on. Okay, let's pop some valves. Let's get it out the oh, door. Yeah. You got it. So I'll show you how you do it, Eddie. Look. That you pop this open. So we need to go up then. We need to go back about the foot. Keep going round. Take for a stuff, This is the big moment of truth. It's finally getting the water. When it's inflated, it's going to look better. Oh, this is where I, it's like, it's like, right, right. ah. <laughs> now are you excited about the first trip? I am. I'm a bit nervous. Is that, that's going in, isn't it? Oh yeah, she's going up. Yeah, you're on. I'll get in and then go round. There's a ladder just here. Check your yeah. job. Having done like you know some incredible work to the engine, we may have heeded some of its running ability. But uh, I think once it's warmed up, it should be fine. Okay. I mean, it is now. It is now idling. The inaugural voyage. Shame we were looking for a jolly outing, weren't we? We were. A little jaunt down the would be nice. Day one. Probably had a kind of jaunt. I've got wet foot. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> did it look good out there for those brief moments? It did for a few seconds. Oh, it's running along the tree. So there's a bit of a shame about the engine. Something to do with the idling, but don't worry. We'll get that fixed. 
and in the next episode we really will be going for it.